Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the newest cigar from Ezra Zion. And I know there's a lot of Ezra Zion fans out there. This is the Brass Knuckles XL 6x54. And yes, what appears to be metal is indeed a set of a small brass knuckles right there on the cigar. Pretty cool. If you're strapped for money to get your girlfriend something because you spent all your money on cigars, you could take this little uh, brass knuckles here and uh, give it to her as a ring. Okay, think about it. Now, this is not much known about the cigar. If it follows the way the first one did when it came out in May, which sold out extremely fast. This is a direct sale product from Ezra Zion. So, so actually right now as I uh, report this, they may be sold out. I'm not sure, but I bet they are. But the wrapper is the Corojo 99. The filler is what they call the best Nicaraguan Medio Tiempo tobacco they have from Esteli and Jalapa and it's a La Hero. Um, again, and that, that cigar at that time was four uh, three quarters by 52. It was a short Toro. This is a full six by 54. They brought it uh, back a new batch because it has such an overwhelming uh, uh, response. So, Outside of the obvious, slightly short, oily wrapper, well made. It really looks solid. Has a good feel in the hand. Before I forget, there's your density. And I believe that'll be all we need to talk about. Let's get right to it. The new Ezra Zion Brass Knuckles XL. All right, we've got a nice looking cap there. Should be a nice target, easy to cut. Hopefully we have a great draw. And we do. That's a perfect draw. Perfect. This, these little brass knuckles are easy to move because they're only held on by a string. Very nice flavors to start with. Primarily, it's a very sweet, creamy flavor and a lot of brown sugar. There is just a sprinkling of citrus notes, and you really don't get those until the end of those first two flavors. You get those first two flavors very uh, highly concentrated. Black pepper at around uh, an eight. And that's sort of how it starts right out of the gate. Now, let's see where it develops and where it goes from. about one inch in and there's some very nice thick caramel notes to go along with that brown sugar now very sweet a lot of sweetness in this cigar a touch of butteriness now with it a lot to go along with that caramel and there's some nice light coffee notes at the base that are really starting to pop the cigar is very sweet it's very nice um, the finish is sort of a toasted cream Almost, hmm, you'd almost call it a caramel-like finish. And some lingering black pepper, not a massive amount, but some. I call it a cigar the upper end of medium bodied right now. It starts out of the gate sort of medium plus. I wouldn't go, go as far as medium to full. But it's a very nice transference from the first segment to now with those thick caramel notes, tons of, of brown sugar. Well, we're probably around the midpoint. Little knuckles there. Flavor notes are unchanged, but there is <coughs> just a tremendous amount of brown sugar and caramel in this cigar. The coffee notes are really elevating. You really get those in abundance. There's so much brown sugar and, and dark depth to this cigar. It almost, at times, I thought there was dark chocolate notes in it. It's just that deep and dark. But uh, I would go away from that description. I would just stick with the brown sugar and the caramel and the coffee. 
I would call a cigar medium to full body, but it's not overbearing and it's a manageable medium to full body. Finish is unchanged. Nice, nice caramel like finish. The generous amount of lingering black pepper. So at the midpoint, not a lot has changed, just more of the same, which is okay with me. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Tremendous amount of brown sugar in this cigar. The caramel is secondary to the brown sugar and the coffee makes a nice base and it is not really just a base, it is really intertwined in those two other two flavors. Cigar hit full bodied uh, shortly past the midpoint. The finish is very nice, sort of a caramel type flavor with some lingering black pepper. The black pepper has been very good in this cigar. Might have ticked up a little bit on the front end as it, as it went. Uh, very good cigar. If you were lucky enough to snatch these up and I'm sure they're gone, how about let me know what you think about it. All in all for me it's a 92. Fantastic cigar. Massive amounts of brown sugar. Very sweet. Nice full bodied cigar once you get past the midpoint. Very good cigar from Ezra Zion. Very nice. So there you have it, the Ezra Zion Brass Knuckles XL.